it's really important that we get down to first principles when it comes to dealing with viruses or pandemics. Here's the first principle from the Bible. God starts and stops plagues. Scripture is sufficient for understanding how to think through this brave new world of COVID-19. The Word of God teaches us that the unseen world of sickness is always active, but God is always in control of the activity. All of it, therefore, do not fear. That's a summary of what the Bible says. Now, here's some examples. In 1 Kings 19, 35, God kills 185,000 Assyrian troops by plague outside the walls of Jerusalem in one night. There was no way to wage war against that plague. We don't wage war against plagues the way we think we can. In fact, God wages war against us. He's unstoppable. In 2 Samuel 24, verses 15 and 16, the Lord sent a plague that killed 70,000 people, and it was a punishment. The Lord also stopped it, calling up, the National Guard to stop the plague would have been a gigantic waste of money. In number 16, verses 46 through 50, the Lord put a plague on the people and then he and he alone stopped it. Why did God send these plagues in the first place? In 1 Corinthians 10, verses 6 through 11, God gives us a solid tip revealing why he did that. And we read there that thousands fell as an example for us not to commit sexual immorality. So we ought to think that God is bringing judgment upon the world for immoralities at minimum. Don't forget that Obergfell is only five years in the rear view mirror and things have escalated at a dizzying rate morally since then. In all these cases in the Word of God, the Lord stopped and started the plague with His own hand. In all these cases, God was punishing the world for worldliness. We should expect this from all plagues. While we might not understand exactly what He's punishing, He's doing something. So with all the bravado being thrown around today about waging war against the virus, we need to understand exactly what is happening and how it will ultimately stop. Man does not stop plagues. God does. And I suspect that you'll find weak or ignorant Christians having a hard time during this situation. But if they saturate their minds in the Word of God, they'll be okay. They'll be calm. They'll be confident. Man is responsible to know the Word of God and to obey it. Hygiene and the quarantine principles were revealed a long time ago, and they are very simple and they are very applicable today. Here they are. If you are sick, stay at home. At all times, keep clean remembering the holiness codes in Leviticus for handling contamination. And remember, in times like these, we need a level-headed, Bible-saturated church, a clear embrace of the sufficiency of Scripture is necessary to secure calm among the people of God. So think about this whole thing with your Bible in hand, not the daily news, they don't really understand any of this, but God does, and He has revealed the fundamental principles to us.